my first in the flesh Burberry show, so I'm very excited. Christopher Bailey did what he had to do this season by bringing back the eccentric spirit that gave the house so much charm in his early days in charge. There was that kind of eccentricity, yeah. eccentric spirit which was back. I feel it's a good moment to be a little bit more whimsical, a little bit more relaxed maybe, and having a bit more fun with it as well, and kind of doing things just because they're beautiful. It was quite hysterical. Well, the handcraft is kind of obvious as well, I guess, because there was an incredible kind of Moroccan vibe in it. So I thought the jumpers with the, the triangles and the blocks on it. The wooden paillettes. Like a school project. It reminded me a bit of Tangram. This uh, sort of game of like 15 shapes that you have to sort of come make into everything. What can I do? It was looser, boxier, uh, less conformist. It kind of reminded me of like this British Navy from, I don't know, the 1800s had been washed ashore off the coast of Madagascar and just like made use of like and been inspired by the local weaving and the prints that they saw there. It was like a, a clash of civilization where everyone gets along. It, it was a fun collection. How much of that was from the heritage of the house? All the parkas, all the trench coats, all the cabans were the real heritage of the house. But, you know, we've got this most magnificent factory in the north of England that make all our, our trench coats and every single one of them, there's so much handwork done. No, I like everything that Christopher does. Um, I think he's always spot on. He's completely captured that whole youth culture um, that's about now. I, I loved it, especially the hats. Just wanted to celebrate the idea of things being made by hand and kind of these beautiful crafts that often they're hidden inside garments and I wanted to try and find a way of just expressing it in a kind of fun, joyous, decorative way. Thank you.